Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to your channel of learning mathematics. Now we have already done a lot of differentiation. It's almost done now. So, but there is still one more topic left, that is known as the higher order derivatives. Now, what do we mean by this? Don't worry, we will understand that very soon. Now, this is under the topic. So now, uh, almost after that, we have application of derivatives only, that is like uh, Rolle's theorem, Lagrange's theorem. But before that, we have to deal with this higher order derivatives also, which is again very useful. And definitely, I'll try to give you some uh, of its applications also. Now, before that, if we just do a quick summary of what we have been doing in differentiation is like so. We were given a function y equal to f of x, then we differentiate that with respect to x. Then this is already known to us, f of x, it is denoted by f dash of x or sometimes y1 also. Right, now guess what? This derived function that we have or sometimes even f dash also. Now this derived function is also sometimes, I mean not sometimes, is also differentiable. There are occasions where the function is not differentiable when we cannot have the tangents and all but and that we will discuss later on uh, but it's not that the higher order derivatives exist for all the functions okay there are definitely some functions where the higher order derivatives do not exist but now let's uh, focus on the higher order derivatives where it exists all right now you can note it down i hope you have all your, your pen book paper copy written down so the derived function Okay, the derived function sometimes itself is derivable. Okay, is derivable at any point, at any point x of the original function f. Okay, the derivative of f dash. That means we are going to go for differentiation once again okay is called the derivative or also known as differential coefficient of the second order all right and is denoted by like so if we write then what what was our function y equal to f of x its first order derivative derivative was um y1 that was dy by dx or f dash of x so if you go for differentiating this once again dy by dx that is denoted as del d square y by dx square this is the way we denote all right d square y by dx square is that clear or it is also denoted as f double dash of x or y2 or there are many ways or y double dash also or even d square y all right or sometimes we need to know all these uh, notations d double dash f all right so all this denotes what second order derivative so in very simple words it simply means that we apply differentiation two times twice okay so once our first uh, order differentiation is done once we are once we differentiate the first function that is already given to us we will apply differentiation once again that's called second order derivative of course if it exists all right if it exists it doesn't exist for all the functions okay and it can be again uh, the above process you know it can be again further um, repeated also that is the above process may again be repeated of course the condition if is if possible that is if it exists all right so this will give us the uh, you know, derivative of the third order then in that case it will be called as uh, driv a t i v e derivative of the third order so in that case it will be denoted by derivative of the second order 
okay derivative of the second order that is derivative of the derived function from the second order and that will be denoted by d cube y by dx cube or you can guess y3 or y triple dash or d cube y or so on all right fine or in general in general we can go on repeating this as long as it is possible that is we can go on repeating the derivative that in, that in that case it will be written as dn divided by d power n y divided by d x power n or d n f or y power n or y n so that means it can be like repeated as many number of times as possible again i repeat only if the function exists so that's called the higher order derivative but in up to class 12 we will be dealing with the second order derivative only okay up to the second order derivative in your higher classes when you go for your graduation courses and all you will proceed with the higher order derivatives that is the third fourth fifth sixth and th order derivative okay now um like let me give you a small uh, application, uh, geometrical application. Like for example, see, we all know that suppose if you have a graph of position time. So let's say position displacement S and time T. Then we all know that DS by DT gives us a relation between position and time, which is also known as velocity. I hope we know that. Now if you go for the second order derivative, that is derivative of this derived function what will we have d square s by dt square and what is this this is nothing but acceleration all right so that's how uh, this is how these are some of the applications of the second order derivative if you wish to go for more if you wish to go for the third order derivative then it can be it can again we can again further proceed that is d cube s divided by dt cube where s denotes the displacement then this will be known as if you have learned in physics we call this as after acceleration we call this as actually jerk that's like a sudden jerk no suppose you're traveling uh, in a bus at a very high speed and all of a sudden the bus stops then what happens we move forward isn't it we like tend to move forward so that uh, that is called jer uh, jerk and then we can just proceed again wherever it exists all right wherever and if it exists okay all right so now there is one confusion generally with students that is this notations this and this are they going to be equal are they same do they give us the same uh, meaning what is the answer definitely yes the answer is no because what does this represent this represents what second order derivative or in other words in very simple words let me put it like this like differentiation d i a t i o n differentiation in in simple words only okay differentiation to one done twice what, what about this this is like square of the first order derivative this is square of the first order derivative so here what happens is we are not applying differentiation two times so it's just a square of the derivative so this is not like algebraic uh, quantity that is like a square is equal to a power whole square no absolutely not this is quite different because this represents second order derivative this represents just square of the first order derivative only so here it means you are to apply differentiation two times here just apply differentiation once and square the um, square the derived function that's what it means all right i hope that's clear okay so we have a very small topic only so let me not discuss too much into details uh, you will have its applications in um, chapter six where you'll be finding out the maxima the minima to find out the maximum volume to find out the minimum volume and all so there of course you'll be having a lot uh, lots of applications as i've given you already some applications of this all right so it's geometrical meaning and all i'll not be discussing in details uh, i'll just stick to the exercise here all right so maybe when we uh, do chapter six that time we will discuss in details about uh, once again we'll come back and maybe we'll that time we will discuss again okay all right then so with that said let us just try to solve some uh, questions that is exercise 
5.7 so let me put it very simple like in 12th standard that is like second order derivative means you will be applying differentiation twice that is first you will differentiate get the derived function and to that derived function you're going to apply differentiation derivative I mean you're going to apply differentiation do differentiation once again and again there with the second order derivative with the derived function if you want to apply again then that will be if you want to apply differentiation again then that will be called as third order derivative as simple as that okay all right so you will understand much better from the exercise so i'll just write down the first question that is y equal to x square plus 3x plus 2 so so the question is i'm not writing down the question here uh, I hope all of you have the textbook so you can just kindly check the textbook that is what is the question there that is find the second order derivatives of the function given in the exercise from question 1 to 10 so the first question is x square plus 3x plus 2 uh, so I have written let y equal to okay let me just write down let y equal to x square plus 3x plus 2 fine shall we Okay, so I'll just do it directly. Then what will be the first order derivative? That is derivative of the function x squared plus 3x plus 2 with respect to x. So this is now already at the end of the uh, chapter. So let's do it directly. That's going to be 2x plus 3. So this is the first uh, order derivative. That is, a, this is the direct function of y. Now, what I will do is I will apply differentiation once again to the derived function. What is my derived function? That is... 2x plus 3 so this will be d square y by dx square equal to and so will be this will be only 2 but that's it this is as I say it's very simple you are just going to be applying differentiation twice fine then again if you wish to apply again third order derivative answer would be now what zero after that we will not be proceeding anymore I hope you want I, I, I that's a slight idea of uh, when we can say that a function okay does not exist we cannot proceed anymore there's no point in proceeding again okay all right clear okay number two let always do name the function okay let y equal to x power 20 so what will be the first order derivative dy by dx equal is n into x power n minus 1 that's going to be 20 into x power 19 therefore what will be its second order derivative that's going to be 20 different okay let me just write it properly like this I mean the steps x power 19 so that's going to be 20 into n into x power n minus 1 so that's like 20 into 19 into x power 18 so 2 9 to 18 1 left 3 80 x power 18 bus fine Challah. done no? you can pause and copy it down okay fine let's move on to the other question that is number 3 again let y equal to x into cos x so applying differentiation the first order derivative that is derivative of x into cos x so i'll have to first apply the product rule right i'll have to first apply the product rule so applying product rule that's going to be x into derivative of cos x i'm going to do that directly minus sine x plus cos x into derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so my solution is minus x sin x plus cos x so this is my first order derivative therefore I'm going to apply derivative once again that is I'm going to find the derivative of the derived function once again second order derivative so that will be minus x sin x plus derivative of cos x so minus i'll just take out x derivative of sine x is cos x plus sine x derivative of x would be 1 plus this is minus of sine x so that's minus x cos x minus sine x minus sine x so that will be x cos x minus 2 sine x so okay this is the second order derivative okay all right number four let y equal to log x so differentiation only okay so it's going to be comfortable for you this is one by x so now derivative the second order derivative will be what is differentiation of one by x i guess all of you know that that's minus one by x square okay Alright, 
I'll just do here just to save paper, save environment, save paper, save trees. X cube log x. So dy by dx is equal to x cube. What is derivative of log x? 1 by x plus log x. Derivative of x cube is 3x square. So 1x, 1x cancels. We'll have x square plus 3x square log x. Now it's second. Okay, I'll just come here. I think that's okay. So I'm just trying to save some paper here, trying to be economic. <laughs> so what will be derivative of, okay, let me just write down. Let me not be too lazy. Plus three is a constant. So I think I've told you many a times, the moment you see a constant immediately, take it out. That's two X plus three. Now product rule again, X squared derivative of log X is one by X plus log X into derivative of X squared is 2x so 1x 1x cancels so I'll have 2x plus 3 x plus twice x log x okay so yeah we can write 3x plus twice x log x so that can be written as 5x plus 2x log x I mean, we can take I mean 3 2's are 6 so after that we can take x common then it will be 5 plus 6 log x if you wish to write according to the textbook done? Shallow. fine let's move to number 6 let y equal to e power x sine of 5x so let's differentiate this dy by dx equal to e power x Differentiation of sine x is cos x and chain rule proceeding 5. Differentiation of 5x plus sine. I hope that's okay. I guess all of you can understand that, isn't it? Because this is already the end of uh, chapter 6. So 5 e power x cos 5x plus e power x sine 5x. So that's the derived function, first order derivative. Then we'll move on to the second order derivative that is I'm going to apply differentiation once again so that is going to be 5 I'll just apply that once again for your understanding and you can do it directly also because exams we have to know how to save time but I'm just showing you the steps not necessary so e power x differentiation of cos x is minus sine x and again general differentiation of 5x is 5 plus uh, cos 5x differentiation of e power x is e power x plus here e power x cos 5x into 5 plus sine 5x e power x all right so let's just arrange this 5 fives are minus na? 25 e power x sine 5x plus 5 e power x arrange and write always plus 5 e power x cos 5x plus e power x sine 5x so that will be e power x sine 5x e power x sine 5x 25 minus 1 so minus 24 24 e power x sine 5x plus 10 e power x cos 5x so this is the second order derivative okay of course if you want to take two common if you want right 2 e power x so that's going to be minus 12 sine 5x plus 5 cos 5x if you wish to write as per the textbook done number 7 that's going to be almost same that is e power 6x cos 3x so let's differentiate so e power 6x, this is minus sine 3x plus cos 3x e power 6x because derivative of e power 6x is e power 6x but chain rule derivative of 6x is 6. So that's minus e power 6x sine 3x plus 6 e power again 6x cos 3x. Maybe I can do it a little bit easier. That is like e power 6x, I'll take common. So I'll have minus sine 
3x plus 6 cos I think we forgot something yes differentiation of cos 3x is minus sin 3x see this is what happens no sometimes we just miss out some very important uh, values also minus 3 I think that's okay now 6 all right that's what I was thinking what did I miss out what did I miss out okay pause the video note it down all right moving on so I'll go for now the second order derivative that is d square y by dx square equal to um, okay I'll just write down so that it's going to be easy for me e power 6x minus 3 sine 3x plus 6 cos 3x so I'm going to differentiate this again so I'll just consider this as a product function this is one function and this is another function second function okay so let's start e power 6x <coughs> let's differentiate this minus 3 differentiation of sine 3x is cos 3x this time let's not forget derivative of 3x chain rule plus 6 minus sine 3x into 3 plus minus 3 sine 3x plus 6 cos 3x derivative of e power 6x is e power 6x but chain rule will proceed again all right of course this second order third order it gets bigger and bigger that's the way it is so three trees are e power 6x i'm going to just write common three trees are nine cos 3x minus 18 sine 3x e power 6x already taken common minus 18 sine 3x plus 36 cos 3x e power 6x so this one if we subtract 36 minus 9 how much will that be I guess uh, 27 now 27 cos 3x minus 36 sine 3x 9 I guess we can take common e power 6x we'll have 3 cos 3x minus 4 sine 3x so this is the second order derivative so as long as your concepts and basics about differentiation is strong enough definitely you will not have any problems because we are just going to be applying differentiation uh, twice so nothing much changes okay question number eight y equal to tan inverse of x so let's differentiate so dy by dx equal to differentiation of tan x is one by one plus x squared therefore derive uh, sorry second order derivative will be okay let me just arrange this 1 plus x square power I'm going to apply chain rule so minus 1 1 plus x square minus 1 minus 1 but I'll have to differentiate since I'm applying chain rule so that's going to be minus 1 plus x square power minus 2 0 plus 2x so if I just arrange this 2x 1 plus x square whole square okay done copy it down pause copy okay all right so let's finish up the number 10 because let's first finish the first series okay so question number one nine that is y equal to log of log x so derivative of the first i mean the first order derivative log of log x so what is the derivative of log x one by x that is log x but yes we will have to proceed with chain rule so that will give me 1 by log x 1 by x fine Chalo. so now d square y by dx square equal to derivative of 1 by x log x x log x i hope that's clear okay so it's up to you you can do it in your own ways I will just apply a quotient rule that is x log x derivative of 1 minus 1 into 
derivative of x log x so this is 0 because derivative of 1 is constant 0 minus x into 1 by x plus log x derivative of x is 1 x log x whole square minus minus cancel I mean xx cancel 1 plus log x divided by x log x whole square d square y by dx square so that's what we get 1 plus log x x log x whole square so it matches with the textbook also okay number 10 last one that is y equal to sine of log x so let's differentiate so this is like something like an exercise um, practice no practice for differentiation so what is differentiation of sine x differentiation of sine x is cos x but chain rule we will have to proceed log x so that's going to be cos log x 1 by x so if i wish to proceed further so that's going to be derivative of cos log x by x if you wish to i mean uh, proceed with quotient rule i'll proceed with quotient rule only okay all right so let me write down the function once again that is derivative of cos log x by x so proceeding with the quotient rule x square x uh, derivative of cos of log x minus cos log x derivative of x with respect to x so that would be x square x this would be derivative of cos x is minus sine x into again chain rule uh, differentiation of log x is going to be 1 by x minus this will be just cos of log x because this is 1 now x x we can cancel we will have minus sine log x minus cos log x divided by x square so second order derivative d square y by dx square can be minus of sine log x plus cos log x divided by x square all right so that's it my dear friends uh, simple as that the remaining questions uh, we will do in the next video there of course will be requiring a little bit of applications or simplification concepts also all right so fine then i hope you have liked the video please do practice stay safe take care till then bye bye